tremolo and vibrato. Last vid we talked about tremolo, throat tremolo, which is change in volume. So playing a G harmonica, four and five draw. The volume is cutting in and out. The pitch is not changing. I'm just altering how much air pressure is coming through to change the volume. My embouchure is not moving, so the note does not change. Vibrato is a change in pitch. Generally, in classic blues harmonica, it is used to mimic a tremolo effect, and usually on bent notes, because you cannot sustain a bent note the same as you can as, as a natural note on the harmonica. So usually they'll, they'll put a chewing effect. So I'm going to play the three draw whole step bend with a chew vibrato. So I'm not, I'm not changing the note, I'm not hitting the three draw three step bend, and I'm not moving up to the three draw half step bend. I'm staying on the three draw whole step bend, but just moving inside that pitch. It's a very slight movement. Remember this, when you look at the, the keys on the piano, those pitches are the, are the pitches we've given names to, the notes we have, in between the C and the C sharp, in between the white key and the black key, there is a world of pitch. Those are just the names we've given notes to. That's where blue notes come in, in between major and minor. So that's what you've got to be moving in between. It's a very, very slight movement. So you can be playing one pitch that we've given a name to, and you can be moving inside that pitch and still be playing that pitch the entire time, not going to the flat or the sharp. Still playing that pitch, but, but, but changing the pitch. In the classic Chicago stuff I listen to, you mainly hear that pitch vibrato on the bent notes mostly the middle bent notes, the three draw whole step bend, the two draw half step bend. The three draw half step bend, you will hear sometimes they, they hit it with their throat and it's, and it's very sharp. You know, the, the same with the two draw whole step bend. Sometimes you'll hear the, the, the vibrato on the high end. It sometimes it just depends on the player, depends on the context. You know, I hear Big Walter using a throat tremolo on the high end. You hear a lot of pitch vibrato in Big Walter Horton's playing because he was one to hold you know, those notes, the two draw half step bend and the three draw whole step bend and make them sound very, very pretty. Sonny Boy, Williamson, Rice Miller also really held that two draw half step bend with, with a lot of big tone. And I mean, the first first player I heard using it, all of the harmonica was, was Paul Butterfield. He, he used it very uniquely. Two notes I use the pitch vibrato on mostly are the two draw half step bend and the three draw whole step bend. Great notes over the five chord. I'm going to play the two draw half step bend with a chew vibrato. I, I switched to an A harmonica, I'll probably give you a better example. So here we go. Three draw whole step bend with a chewing pitch vibrato. It's absolutely worth working on this stuff, especially if you're playing amplified because I mean you can't get the, the hand tremolo effect while playing amplified. You can get you can get a variation of it, but you can't get it like you can playing acoustically. So, I mean, yeah, man, I would work on that. And, I mean, when you hear throat vibrato, usually that person means throat tremolo. They're just they're not familiar with the definition of the words, but now you are. You know the difference. Tremolo and vibrato, they are two different things, two different techniques. I actually just read a little piece of information about Fender, the guitar and amp company, that when they released their first vibrato effect, it changed the pitch. They called it their tremolo effect. So maybe that had something to do with the beginning of the, the misuse of those words.